Hi, this is Dan from Thompson Equipment and DozerWinchParts.com. Today we're working on uh, a W3C Allied winch. Uh, this one's equipped with the arch, which is kind of a rare option. Um, some other winches there to the left that we, we're working on, but um, today this this guy is the the one we're working on. Um, it's not reaching full line pull, so we're going to go into it and uh, see what the problem is. Right now the guys are taking everything off, the brackets, uh, getting ready to pull the PTO shaft. Um, when you get in there, one thing that we didn't record in the rest of the video was the importance of the valve. The control valve for these winches, out there you can see the oil, just so much water in it. Not good lubrication and it's starting to cause some rust on some of the frictions and separator plates. Okay, back to the while they're taking it apart. The valve is no longer supported by Allied, really. You can't get a replacement valve for a W3C. Um, you can buy some of the O-ring seals and stuff to keep it going, but a lot of times they're back ordered and things like that. So we do our best to keep everything in stock, but there's a few generations, and right now they're getting into that valve a little bit. But um, just be super careful. If you're working on a W3C, be super careful regarding the valve. So I took a pause on the time lapse here because we're working on the clutch we put, that pulled off. And as you can see, there's, if I zoom in a little bit, there's no uh, paper, no texture left on the frictions. It's had too much water in the oil and all of the friction material is gone. This one here has, has a little bit of texture left on it that you can see on the, uh, the upper side there you can see that a little bit but down here there's there's nothing left so this winch wasn't pulling he was having trouble getting a full turns he wasn't getting the full line pull he was supposed to and now it didn't take that long to see what was going on so uh, i don't need a clutch rebuild which is relatively simple um and in this case he's got some grown up bearings and a few other parts that need some tlc but so here's the, the tractor side housing of this W3C we're working on. Uh, this one seems to be okay, uh, but we've had a lot of guys calling with issues regarding their their clutch, uh, this outer hub, or because the outer hub, if you can see, is splined down there in the back. The, the, this is always spinning and that, that turns the hydraulic pump here. This gear, my fingers are pointing at right down there, the, the hydraulic pump gear, that one is, it has to be in perfect alignment. Uh, and if you put that gear in backwards, it won't drive or get driven by the, the clutch housing. So basically I'm bringing this up because I've had enough issues with either the outer housing or the pump gear or the pump. You need to be extra careful, more careful careful than people are being um, because it, that's that's a root cause of a lot of the issues we're having with guys so there are several updates regarding this this clutch hub depending on your serial number so sometimes that means an entire update where you're gonna get a whole new hub and shaft in the works so um, just be extra cautious um, when you're working in this area as well as <clears throat> Our winch specialist has seen this a few times. Pardon my poor camera work, but um, this is the the drum side of the, of the W3C. And right here is where the, the clutch shaft rides. Um, this area in here can get worn and, and destroyed rather easily. Uh, you wanna be real, real careful with that region because that's where uh, all your actuators come from, uh, engaging and disengaging your clutch and your oil and your your lubrication so um give us a call if you have any questions all right last thing i want to show you while we're while i'm out here is this winch uh doesn't look like it's been totally opened up yet and if you look at my hand that's yellow that wasn't there a second ago the the paint that they used from the factory uh wasn't uh water it wasn't the right kind of paint it looks like it was a water-based paint and it's getting eaten away by the oil. So when we rebuild this, 
it's gonna get fully clean and it's gonna get rid of most, or if not all of that yellow that's already coming off. You'll see it, a problem in the strainer. Uh, that, that paint as it peels off has a habit of getting clogged in the strainer and it'll cut off your oil flow and cause a bunch of issues. So um, just be aware, yep, we know about it, but the, the fix is to take it all apart and get it out of there. It's, it's a bear, so while you're doing one of these, might be worth looking into if your paint's starting to come off like this one is, because this isn't the first one we've seen this way. Give us a call if you have any questions. Okay, now everything's going back together. Um, again, be super careful with the valve. Can't stress that enough. Um, you'll see I'm putting the winch back on the tractor here in a minute. Uh, they're working on the brake there. It just went in. Um, when the tractor... A lot of the other winches, the larger ones, W5Cs, 6Fs, all those other winches have a side cover so you can access the, the valve and make minor adjustments. This one does not, so anytime you got to work on it, it's almost like it comes back off and on the tractor if you ever have to. So uh, in this case, it came had to come off on a couple times to make sure it was all working, but um, it, it doesn't take too long. So hopefully this is helpful. So there she is, the W3C is back on the dozer, all tested and working perfectly now. So a uh, couple of things you wanna be extra careful with over the last, I don't know, half dozen of these W3Cs that we've done. Um, take special note on the way you stack the frictions and separators in the clutches. The, the frictions and separa separators, uh, they've changed the way they stack and they stack different ways sometimes you have uh, two separators against each other etc and then in the brake the brake the brakes inside here uh, it's like if you're going in that way it's it's in there so if you were to take the the winch off the tractor you can see it we had to pull and remove it this one a couple times because initially the brake wasn't holding and the drum was just slowly rotating in in neutral the brake had wasn't grabbing um we've noticed that you have to take special attention on the way the springs come out of the brake. So if the springs aren't stacked right, they they won't hold pressure. So sometimes they're they're cut different ways, and you got to take special attention to make sure that you put them back in the same way that they came out. Um, just there's an inconsistency there, and the manual does not call it out well enough. Maybe I'll. I'll try and look for the picture, but the manual doesn't call it out well enough to tell you exactly which way to stack the springs. Are they up and up? Are they cup them down and down? Are they cupped opposing to each other? In this case, they were cupped opposing to each other, um, which was a unique deal. <clears throat> it's like the biggest gap you could get to make sure the clutch is grabbing and now it works perfect. So um, last thing, this winch, as you saw, had a ton of water in it. Um, that water wasn't getting drained out because there's some guards like you see on the bottom there's a guard there um the the true drain plug for the winch is hidden by the guards so if you were to just pull this cover here this is the filter cover suction filter cover if you were to pull that uh, and get a bunch of oil out you're not going to get all of it out because the, the real drain plugs underneath the guard so there's another note for you if you're doing this job um lastly you'll see it in the time lapse real quick but the guys did prime the pump before installing it in the dozer uh that one that one will sting you pretty good if you don't pre-prime prime the pump uh because it doesn't self prime very easily a lot of times so anyway some stuff for you if you're doing this job um or if you want to just give us a call we can walk you through it um happy to help give us a call if you have questions